Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I was in pain, face to the ground. My arm was twisted beside, behind me, and he was screaming in my ear. Do you surrender now? Do you? It was just a harmless game we played as kids. We would wrestle each other in the dirt until one of us lost by saying, I give up. And that was usually me. I was the youngest and weakest in my class. But by the time I turned 11 years old, I became sick and tired of losing. So on that day, I gathered the courage and I told myself, no matter what happens, no matter how much my arm hurts, I just won't give up. I may not win, but I won't be defeated either. This episode was formative, and it helped me overcome many challenges later in life. But the reason I thought about it recently is because I realized that this determination is something we all share. You, more than I, are relentless in the pursuit of your goals and able to overcome any challenge. Growing up as untouchable in India, facing a sexual predator in your hometown, surviving a mine explosion in Afghanistan, you don't give up. And by battling through adversity, you inspire the faith, the courage, and confidence in others. You've certainly inspired me. And I am so proud to be standing among you today and so happy to have spent a whole year with you. We've studied together and learned from each other. We've traveled around the globe, from Cape Cod to Cuba, Uganda, and Japan. We've seen lasting friendships bloom all around us. And we've seen one engagement ring change hands. <laughs> Sadly, we had to say goodbye to our loved ones. But we've welcomed nine new babies to this world. We've extended our family, and I always dreamt about having a large family. Ever since 25 years ago, almost exactly to this day, a sniper bullet made me an orphan. But I didn't give up on that dream. And today, I'm happily married to a superwoman. I have, I have three wonderful children and 194 amazing sisters and brothers. So different in so many ways yet so similar in what matters the most. And as we walk out through these doors, armed with our fancy new diploma and eager to casually drop the H-bomb, <laughs> we should have the humility to acknowledge just how unlikely we were to come here, how far Harvard Square is from the streets of Manila, Kampala, in Bogota, where we grew up, from the institutions and NGOs and corporations where we drafted our memos and policy papers and project documents, from the embassies, from the outposts and deserts where we served our nation. We have a duty to remember where we came from and to give back to our communities, to inspire in others the spark that enabled us to be here today. And we also have to cherish our new family, to take care of each other and stay true to ourselves. And no matter what we do, 
no matter what happens, to never, ever surrender. Thank you.